Aloha, I'm on here. I had a conversation the other day with a gal that had just graduated from college and she had a degree in cellular microbiology. So when I heard that term, um, I kind of bent her ear a little bit and I said, I have a theory I'd like to present to you and uh, hear your, your hit on it. And so after I gave her a little quick background on what hemp oil was because she didn't know about hemp oil. Um, I asked if she knew about the endocannabinoid system, which she did. And I said, my theory is this, and, and that is, um, you know, I've been working with hemp oil for over four years, almost five years now. And I've been working with a lot of different people that have all kinds of different maladies. And I've seen it work just across the board. Rick other people around the world, everybody is seeing it, just what a miracle agent it is for uh, healing. And uh, I was trying to, I was just pondering, like, what is the common thread of, that makes it so that it's so effective on so many different, if it doesn't heal it outright, at least it helps it way better than anything that the pharmaceutical companies can come up with. So uh, my theory was, and I pre when I presented this to her, she seemed to think it had some credibility, was that um, if we feed our endocannabinoid system, uh, we react differently to stress. Now, in life, there are all kinds of stressors that are, some are natural, some are perpetrated. I would say a lot are perpetrated, um, be it through the news, media, um, uh, papers, uh, electromagnetic pollution. Um, there are so many things that are going on right now in life that are not healthy for the human body. Um, and just our psyches as well. But um, what uh, my theory was, was that if we are in a state where we are feeding our endocannabinoid systems at all points in time, like taking hemp oil on a regular basis, then we are reacting completely different to stress. And if we are not stressed, we are at ease. Another way of saying that you're stressed is you are ill at ease or in dis-ease. So, you know, we have all different kinds of ways our, our bodies are all different, so we have different ways that our body will express the dis-ease when it comes, you know, and it's been there for a while and we've been dealing with it. It'll show up in some form of illness. And if we're feeding our endocannabinoid system all the time and we are giving it um, the medicine it needs to be able to react to stress in a completely new way, then we are at ease in the body. And if and when we are at ease in the body, then our body goes into its natural healing miracle manifesting modality. Um, I mean, if you think about all of the patients that have had spontaneous remissions from cancer, there is one thing that they all have in, con in, con in common, and that is uh, an epiphany. They were able to come to the realization of what exactly it was, the thought process or whatever it was, the environment that they were living in, whatever it was, uh, what, whatever where they were working, could be coming from any one of a number of sources. Um, once they got in touch with that and they decided to make a change, um, then all of a sudden the body is done with cancer, just like that. It's as simple as that. So um, when I presented this theory to her, she seemed to think it had a lot of credibility and um, was kind of, uh, well, blown away. That she <laughs> my, uh, my education is, uh, 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 formal education is, is not very high level. So uh, she asked, that was the first thing she asked out of, uh, of me after I had presented the theory was she said, how much schooling have you had? And when I told her, um, she was kind of amazed that what she heard came from somebody with my background. So it's, uh, it's a new science, and there are new scientists out here. We're the crazy ones out on the fringe working with things that everybody else is either afraid of or just doesn't have the interest in exploring the edge. So here we are, and we've got a miracle on our hands. So just wanted to put that out there as just another piece. Uh, who knows, maybe it's uh, if other people can refute 
the theory. I'd be open to hearing about it, but uh, it seems to make sense to me, so I just thought I'd put it out there. So uh, good luck to everybody, and continue on your healing paths, and uh, happy day. Aloha.